In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart of means and a line chart of means. You do this with one scale variable. I have total competency score of employees before they start their job. And we're going to split that by a categorical variable, and I'm going to use age groups. So I want to show the average total competency of each age group. If you go to graphs and chart builder, I'm going to hit reset to clear out my gallery and I'm going to start with a simple bar chart. So if you find bar from the left and then choose the first option, you can either double click or drag it in. Now my categorical variable goes along the bottom, but I forgot to change age groups to ordinal. So I can do it here by right clicking or I could hit cancel and go to the variable view, but this is easier. And I also want to drag total competency to where it says count and automatically mean total competency appears, which is what I want. Now, if you want to add error bars, you want to take this box here and click apply. And when you're done, click OK. We can see we have a bar chart of means. The height of each bar represents the mean total competency score for each age group. And the bars shown are the error bars for a 95% confidence interval. Now we're going to repeat that for a line chart. It's very similar. I'm going to go ahead and reset this and choose line from the left. And then I want the first line chart. Again, I'm going to put my categorical variable along the bottom, but I have to change it to ordinal again. I'm going to drag it to the x-axis. And then I'm going to take total competency and put that where it says count again in the y-axis. I do want error bar, so I'm going to take this box and click Apply. And then I'm done, so I'm going to click OK. And you can see my line chart looks really similar to my bar chart. It just doesn't have bars. The height of the line, or the point on the line, represents the mean total competency score for each age group with error bars.